hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how you can basically import the data from a csv file and uh, insert this inside a sqlite database or table so we will be writing a simple python script here using pandas library so i have given all the source code of this script in the description of the video so first of all you need to install this uh, two libraries first is pandas p a and d a s and also you need to install sqlite library s q l i t e so sqlite 3 this is basically the two dependencies that you need to write i have already installed it so now we will write this python script which will actually we will first of all import the pandas library as pd and then we will import the sqlite library sqlite 3 and here we will have the actual data frame and it contains a method pandas library which is read underscore csv so here we will pass the path of the file guys so here we will pass data.csv so this file we need to create guys in the root directory so i have already created this so yes csv file is as you all know it's a comma separated value so we have name age country we have three columns and let me now have the data so you can have as many data as you want so let me has tim and hopkins so you can see we have uh, three columns and four rows of data inside this file data.csv we just create it and now we need to simply we have loading this file here we have after this we need to connect to the database so we will make the connection so for making the connection guys we use sqlite 3 and it contains a method which is called as connect and here we will pass the database name that we need to create so we will simply create output.db and after that guys uh, this will connect and it will create this database which is output.db when when we run this python script so after it make the connection guys it's very simple now to insert the data we have this method called as 2 underscore sql and after this we need to create a table guys so we will create a user table here inside this database and inside this we will pass the connection and the third argument guys we need to say if the table exists then we need to replace it like this that's all and now we simply need to close the connection so you will say connection close that's all so this is all that we need to do guys you will see it will automatically fetch the data which is present inside data.csv it will create a database and which is called as uh, output.db and it will create a table inside this user and now if i run this python script guys just notice in the left hand side if i write this python apt2.py you will see it will create this uh, output.db so we can't just view it inside our visual studio so we have this online tool called as let me view it inside here sqlite viewer it is so i need to drop drop the file here so i need to go to the projects directory and here let me go to my directory where it is present it is present inside fake rest and we have this file guys you will see it's a database file sqlite file if i select this you will now see basically it contains a table called as user you can see that it contains four rows of data this is you can see name age country and index is there 0 1 2 3 so we have already you can see we have successfully uh, imported the data which is present inside the csv file here you will see it can contain millions of records out there if you directly want to insert the records from a csv file you can just use this python script and you can see that this sqlite database contains the table user and it contains three columns and four rows of data so in this easy way guys you can write this python script the link is given in the description of the video i have written all given all the source code on my blog post inside this description of the video you can just copy paste this python script it is not doing anything it is making the connection to sqlite 3 it is using pandas library it is reading the data by using read underscore cv csv then it is making the connection and then it is using two underscore sql to convert that to import the data inside sqlite database so thank you very much for watching this